there is a very interesting, uh, Mr. Madhavan Narayan, a very interesting battle that is playing out in Patan constituency. This is a constituency that the Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh holds. Uh, he held it in 2013. Bhupesh Bhagel won it in 2013. He won it in 2018 as well. This time pitted against him is the BJP's Vijay Bhagel, who is his own nephew. And by the looks mm. of it, at least after the first two rounds of counting, by the looks of it, it is Vijay Bhagel who seems to be leading. Well, I think if you're talking about Bhagels, I'm only reminded of cream cheese, but you know, puns apart. The point is that uh, uh, Kong Chhattisgarh was a state for Congress to retain in terms of issues and ideology. You know, uh, well, Chhattisgarh is a predominantly tribal or farmer-oriented state. There is no, uh, the minority Muslim population is low. There is not sco much scope for the Hindutva wave. So uh, anti-incumbency has kicked in. But if the chief minister himself is lo losing his pocket borrow to his nephew, that means it's serious. And the matter is something that uh, escaped our attention. You know, we were only talking about party versus party and issues, not realizing that uh, the late, uh, I personally am quite surprised because I thought that Mahadev app scandal was a last minute desperate attempt by the BJP. That seems to have been uh, mm -hmm. working in a manner where if the chief minister as an MLA is facing a threat. But uh, it is to uh, the credit of the Congress, I would say that I have this triangle theory that if you go away from Ayodhya, Gandhinagar, and Delhi triangle, which is a lot of the Hindi belt uh, state, the uh, BJP's uh, ideological and organizational issue uh, comes down. So some people even count Chhattisgarh to be part of southern India, because if you look at the south of Chhattisgarh, Bastar itself is larger than all of Kerala, so and it is bordering Telangana. So. Mm -hmm. To that extent, Congress had an advantage which has failed to convert uh, in retaining it. But uh, I'm not surprised because, but there are some uh, uh, leads that show uh, Congress is still not completely out of the picture. But uh, it depends because I was mm. looking at two, three sources and we have not yet finally seen the results. So, but Chhattisgarh for me is, uh, mm. uh, well, it's uh, for the Congress high command, it is. Uh, very tough news because the if you can't retain something which is south of the tropic of Capricorn, uh, Cancer, then it is tough for you. Sure. But let me also point out something that you didn't ask for. Mr. But which I, hmm. Yeah, very keen to say, hmm. which is that the Congress, uh, it's go time ahead. for the... Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Hmm. It's time for the Congress to understand this whole high command culture has to give way to a middle command culture because the state level chieftains seem to be doing very well in terms of personality, campaign, energy. We saw Siddharamaya in Karnataka, we see Revanta Reddy in Telangana, and now even Bhupesh, Bhupesh Bhagel, even mm. if he is losing elections, and uh, Ashok Gallot, of course, uh, mm. is turned out to be a bit of a hype if uh, the current indications are anything. Uh, only if Congress crosses 80 that mm. Ashok Gallot can take moral credit for the fact that he tried hard and in an anti-incumbency way. Mm. But what uh, the unseen factor for the Congress in this election is that there is a rise of the middle command. The, the unseen factor for the BJP is that mm. uh, Shivraj Chauhan was over, mm. uh, you know, his uh, performance was underestimated uh, because whether whatever the reason, he will take the credit, he mm. will get the credit. It will be very big surprise if, uh, and going into the fifth, it's not just the next uh, Gujarat syndrome. It is like, you know, Shivraj Chauhan will now be counted alongside Jyoti Basu and Naveen Patnaik and Narendra Modi himself as somebody who's had such a long political longevity. So those things are the big sure. takeaways for me. Sure, but, but, but yeah. And, 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 and but, but, but we do need to remember that uh, Shivraj Singh Chauhan was not even the face of the BJP exactly. for these elections. So, he was never officially so, named as the chief ministerial face. And exactly. we were given uh, given some spiel Surprise. about collective leadership. Ka Ka but Kamal, can I just Kamal bring Nath, in uh, uh, yeah, Mr. Let Mangalam? Let me just say yeah. one thing. The, G let the me... Big... Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. I just want to wind up by saying that Kamal Nath has been the biggest political disaster this election. And mm -hmm. Shivraj Chauhan has turned out to be somebody who was mm -hmm. called a joker in the pack, but now turned out to be ace and king put together. 
हरीश खुराना डिड द बीजेपी अंडर एस्टिमेट मिस्टर शिवराज सिंह चौहान उनको बिल्कुल साइड लाइन कर दिया द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज नॉट इवन टेकिंग हिज नेम सडनली ऑफकोर्स ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट लेक थिंग्स चेंज द बिट But did the BJP forget the people of Madhya Pradesh? Did the BJP also underestimate Shivraj Singh Chauhan? See, you can't say we have changed them differently. I mean, after Prime Minister Modi, the maximum numbers of rallies and the public meetings which have been given uh, done by Shivraj Singh Chauhan himself. And today, when we are talking about the largely one of the, mm. one of the key factors of the Madhya Pradesh winning, is is, is given mm. by the by the Shivraj Singh Chauhan only. So we can't say that we have Shivraj Singh Chauhan ji ko alag kar diya. No, not not at all. And now on a, on a lighter note, mm. we can say for the Kamal Nath, Kamal ji, Kamal Nath ji ko Kamal ham le gaye. Nath ji, Rahul Rahul Gandhi le gaye. Mm. <laughs> Kamal hamare paas reh gaya. Nath, mm. Kamal Nath ke saath Nath unke saath chala gaya. Mm. My point is, I mean, if you see Chhattisgarh also. Chhattisgarh uh, has proved mm. all the chunavi pundits wrong. What everybody was saying, BJP, mm. BCT, Aengi, 25 seats, Aengi. They were they were calculating the numbers, not more than 30. But rightly said by Prabhan Singh ji that there was mm. an undercurrent against the Bhupendra uh, Bhagel's Bhupi, Bhupi, comment, and the reason, and and that the that the reason Mr. Bhagel is trailing. I mean, if you see uh, the results of 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 uh, Chhattisgarh right now, I mean, it's, you are saying it's a tough fight. What we believe in is a clear-cut mandate against uh, Bagel government. So we are pretty confident that we are going to win Madhya Pradesh by 150 seats. You are saying Shivraj Singh Chauhan ji. We have we are clearly saying Shivraj ji ko humne kabi na alag kiya tha na honge. Mr. Mangalam, when we look again, Chhattisgarh. I am not very sure the BJP can be as optimistic as they want to, uh, but the Congress is at 40, the BJP is at 49. Uh, this could go down the wire, like Madhya Pradesh went down the wire last time. This time, Madhya Pradesh is given, by the looks of it, a very clear verdict. Mr. Mangalam, when you look at the picture on your screens, but when you look at the picture on your screen, when you look at the numbers on your screens. Uh, this has turned out to be not such a great day for the Congress Party. Then, Chhattisgarh was a state for you to retain. Telangana, yes, congratulations. But again, Madhya Pradesh, you were expected to do well. You can't be happy with the results you're seeing on your screens. The day isn't over yet. Uh, Congress Party has already broken one myth where it was said ad nauseum that we can't defeat a regional party that rises in our place. We're going to prove that wrong in Telangana. And I wouldn't count my chickens before they hatch. I want to make a couple of comments in response to Mr. Narayanan's comments on high command or middle command. I'm not sure what he meant. But interestingly, if these trends hold, then where we allowed state leadership to run the election entirely by themselves, whether that be Madhya Pradesh or Rajasthan, and we projected a chief ministerial face that was clear, we seem to be losing. And where we had elective leadership in the state, as we did in Telangana, we seem to be far ahead. So listen, you can spin the story any which way you want. I will say that in 2013, Rajasthan, a state which famously shifts from one party to the other in every election, gave us a resounding defeat, and we were only ended up at 20, 24 seats. If you compare that to this defeat, you know, if it's our turn to be defeated in Rajasthan, if you will, Mr. Gehlot has done a commendable job by bringing us up to the late 70s or early 80s, if it'll end up there. So I would indict Mr. Gehlot in the manner in which uh, Mr. Madhavan just did. Uh, I think Chhattisgarh, as we were speaking, as I was listening to the other people on your show, first Mr. Bagel was trailing, then I saw it flash on the screen that Mr. Bagel was leading. So, like I said, it's too early days to call mm. these states, which clearly are in for a tough fight. Now, I will grant you this: that I did not think that Chhattisgarh would be as close as it's coming out to be right now by your numbers, and that is a little shocking to me. Regardless, I also uh, didn't think the early trends in Madhya Pradesh would hold out to be as it is. It seems, uh, as someone else on your show said, that Madhya Pradesh is turning out to be a very solid BJP base, continuing to be retained. I mean, the one time we broke it was last time, and then they stole the mandate. But they seem to be resurgent in that case, in the in the case of Madhya Pradesh. Hmm. But 